Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I'm going to show you what is a headless service and I'll also discuss about the use cases of a headless service. So as simple as I can go, a head an headless service is basically a service without a cluster IP, right? So I'll tell you what I mean. So I here have three files. One is pod.yaml, which is basically doing nothing, creating a simple Nginx pod. And then I have two uh, other files, which is a normal.yaml which is creating a normal service of based on this pod and then let me just clear the screen and then I have an headless service.yaml which basically is creating a headless service and how do you know this is an headless service because when you look at the cluster IP I have stated it to none so I'm giving it no cluster IP right so that's what I said a headless service is basically a service without a cluster IP cool so now let's just do kubectl. Uh, let's just do first get parts to see if anything is running. Nothing is running. kubectl apply f. So now all our parts and services are created. So kubectl get parts. All right, our nginx pod is running. And let's do kubectl get service. So now we have two services, Nginx headless service where we don't have any cluster IP and Nginx service where it has got a cluster IP from the IP range which you give when you are creating the cluster, right? All right, so now I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to create a pod, a debug pod or a cur, basically a networking pod. And from that pod, I am going to curl these services, do a ping on these services, right? Uh, do some network operations. So let me just run this pod. So I'm using this radial busybox plus uh, curl image because this has all the required networking tools. You can also use this. And I'm inside the pod. So now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a curl on, let me just copy the name, Nginx service. And let's hit enter. So you can see I'm getting the Nginx homepage back, which is what is expected out of it. Now let's do a curl on Nginx headless pod. Clear the screen. And let's do curl on Nginx headless. So we are getting the same response, right? All right, so let's just go back up and get the cluster IP of the Nginx service and do the same thing to the cluster IP and we are getting the same response, the Nginx homepage. Now let's try to do a ping on this cluster IP. And you can see you are not getting any response back because this cluster IP is basically an IP range which you define and it is sort of a virtual IP address that you get, right? When you basically are creating the cluster. So that is why you are not getting any response from this uh, IP address. But let me just cancel this. Let's go up. And let's try to ping Nginx headless service. And you can see we are getting a response. And this is basically the IP from where we are getting the response, right? So this is because when we created the headless service, it has only put the pond pods behind it, right? So without any virtual IP or any load balancing or anything of that sort, this DNS is directly pointing or bypassing to the pod IP addresses. So now what use cases can you think of where you would want to use a headless service? I have seen only one use case where I've seen people using headless services when they are running databases on the containers, right? So they may be running uh, a master database and maybe a couple of read replicas and they have different DNSs for the master and the read replicas and they are not creating normal cluster IP or the load balancer or the node port services. They are just creating headless services and just giving the DNS where, wherever they want to use in the application, right? So that when an application is trying to connect to that service is basically directly connecting either to the master database or to a read replica, right? So that's the only use case I have seen of the headless service. Uh, let's see if it has host. Not this, uh, yeah, can we do a host? No, we cannot. So host is not there. Uh, let's try NS lookup. 
So again, NS lookup is pointing to the IP address and if just we exit out of this pod and do kubectl get pods hyphen o hide. So basically this is the IP address of this pod. So you can see a headless service is basically acting as, and it's not acting as a proxy or a load balancer. Instead, it is just bypassing it to the directly to the pod IP addresses. And that is what a headless service is.